the details of you know the purpose of it and all that kind of stuff. And sort of you know, give some news on some of the things that are going on. So before again, I don't want to remind everyone to go down below and click the like, click subscribe because it really does help. Uh, you know the YouTube algorithm work and do its uh, you know thing. If you want to support me financially, you can also go do the PayPal or the uh, Patreon down below. Uh, it's going to get important because again we're gonna, uh, you know we're going to announce the, uh, the you know the upcoming uh, sort of events that are coming up for that uh, uh, promotion. So we can you want to. Uh, look at that. So again, I'll mention that when we get to these things. Okay, so we'll go again with, with the first item, okay? Um, as I've been uh, saying uh, for the last little while and uh, producing on the channel, I've been doing a lot of the work with uh, adaptive AI and that kind of stuff. I'm uh, doing lots of pictures and that kind of stuff as well. Uh, it's just the last couple of episodes I've been doing so. And now I've uh, done a little bit of work on um, uh, using AI to, to write. And um, so basically I have sort of embarked on a, a journey to actually write a um, sort of a, you know, kind of an anime, sort of novel, kind of short story, kind of a, you know, uh, an ongoing sort of a romance type, type, type story, okay? So what I've done is I've come up with a, a supplementary art book uh, for that first book. So again, it'll explain, um, the, you know, the entire process of how the kind of AI kind of works um, and, and the process that I had to use in order to get to, you know, to, to the pictures and the steps that you actually see. So that also also gives you a chance to see, uh, you know, some of the intermediate pictures that actually got to that final point. And so I explain how, how all that all works. And again, uh, that book is now uh, available for free on Amazon um, from uh, February the 17th to the 21st. Uh, you can go over to, to, to Amazon right now and uh, and go and click on that and add that free to your um, uh, Kindle uh, library. All right. So again, I put the links down below, um, and then you can um, you know you can go there. And again, it's, it's absolutely free. Just uh, use the you know the one uh, one click uh, free buy thing, and just click it on there, and uh, then it adds it right into your library. Okay, and it doesn't cost you anything, and you can go through and, and, and get that. All right. Um, the other thing that I want to get into the, uh, this uh, uh, time around is I want to begin a sneak preview of the anime giveaway. Uh, again, as I've been talking, that I've been getting ready some CDs and stuff, and I've been getting ready some um, some uh, figurines and that kind of stuff from my display cases and that kind of stuff, and some of the stuff that I had so left over from the store's display cases and stuff. Um, uh, if I you know got that sort of together, and I'm gonna go through some of the items uh, that I'm gonna be giving away there. So again, don't um, you know just sort of keep uh, a sort of a want list, all right? Um, uh, you know you don't have to write down anything uh, right now, and or, or to give me your choices right now. Uh, make a list of all the things you want um, in the order that you want them, and then as I make a, a few more videos of of all the stuff that that actually is there. I'll give you the instructions um, when we do the shipping, um, the, how to get these uh, these items. Okay, again, I'm not, I'm not charging anything for the actual items; just some shipping to get the items to you. All right, so you know, may, feel free to, to to pick and choose whatever you like, and uh, have some alternatives, and then let's uh, see what you get. Okay, so let's go into some of these uh, cool items that uh, we, we've got here. Okay, so the first thing I've got here is a uh, Tenchi Muyo. Uh, this is a figure of a Yoko, and uh, there's also the, uh, the extra sidekick of Yoki as well. And again, you can just see the, the various different uh, size conversions on them. And um, yeah, so the, the, this is uh, you know, one of the official ones from the uh, uh, anime um, works uh, line of uh, things. And so, if I remember, I think I picked this up from Comic Con. Uh, was it? It was like I guess it was like 2001. I think it was from Comic Con, um, and uh, yeah, and, and you know, basically Pioneer was releasing a whole bunch of different uh, you know figurines and that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, in addition to all the you know different things they had, I think they had this, they had Armitage, and a few other things like that as well. But uh, yeah, so I, yeah, so I have this one um, uh, the, the, uh, available, and again, it's, it's a pretty different, nice, nice, nice size you can see here, and um, it's all sort of like a. Um, plastic sort of PVC sort of mold sort of thing. So you don't have to do anything to it. It's already colored. You just basically, um, you know, prop it up on the stand. It's it's lightly poseable, but not really, but, um, you know, it's, it, um, you know, it's, it's, it's mostly um, set in a fixed position. So it's, you know, in that case, I guess it's really easy because then all you do is you just basically, uh, you know, set it up, 
put it on your desk or your on top of your computer or, or um, you know, or on, onto your little stand or whatever, and um, it's ready to go. You don't have to do anything. It's um, um, you know pre pre done uh, for you. So again, uh, that is the uh, Yoko from uh, Tenchi Muyo. Okay, the next item is really pretty cool. Uh, this is a um, uh, Katsumi liqueur uh, figurine uh, from Silent Mobius. Now, this thing is, uh, you know, um, really nice, uh, nicely done, really nicely well colored. Uh, the really different thing about this one is it's not made out of like porcelain or uh, or plastic or anything. This is actually made out of pewter. Okay. So this thing is actually heavy, okay? This is like really, you know, you know thick kind of kind of stuff, and it's you know, um, it's different in, in that respect that, that, that because it's actually made of a kind of a metal, right? Um, it's a it's a, it's a visual piece from the Kiasmia uh, collection, uh, so the Yamato series and, and whatnot, and uh, you know, and, and it's a full, uh, um, you know, thing that they did. Uh, where he made all a bunch of different figures of this. Uh, you know, again, I talked about an episode where I, I, I got this stuff and, and some of the stuff um, I had actually got him to sign um, some of the, fig the figurines from his uh, Yamato collection. Um, anyway, so um, this uh, 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 Katsumi is, uh, is already uh, sort of uh, you know pre-posed and everything. He, you know, she's literally screwed onto her base. Okay. And there's a you know there's a there's there's the pentagram design and everything on the thing here and here she's carrying the extra um you know the uh, the, uh, the the blade rifle, and so yeah so again if you're interested in this sort of figure this is really nice it's not you know it's not you know but it's a fair size kind of figure, um but again it, you know it's got it carries a, a good amount of weight because this thing is like a solid metal piece thing okay, um anyway so uh this is yeah the uh, the Katsumi liqueur from Silent Mobius. Okay, so the next one I've got here uh, for you gaming uh, people is, is I have a Tifa Lockhart um, figurine. Okay, now this one is nice because it's uh, it's a you know she stands on her own sort of platform and everything. She's already pre-painted and uh, you know pre-done. She's done in a let's see I think it's a, it's a light PVC on this one here. Um, and so you basically just uh, you know set her up on top of the stand. It's ready to go. Uh, no uh, sort of um, you know sort of uh, any assembly we really required uh to basically uh, you know you know you know put up on her stand and she's ready to go uh, ready to be displayed um this one's got actually a pretty a fair height to it as you see so it's a you know it's a fairly um you know tall sort of figurine by my most respects and uh, you know and as i said the detail's really nice on it the paint really is, is, is really um uh, really good uh on on this particular thing so it's you know fair bit of detail uh on this thing uh, interesting pose, of course. You know, it's like I mean, if you look at the you know the back side of it, it looks uh, you know kind of like interesting. You know, it's a I don't know, I guess you could call it a, a, a butt cheek pose or whatever. But um, you know, it's a you know this it's a, it's a neat uh, sort of figurine too. So again, um, this is a uh, one of the ones that uh, you know I think a lot of, a, a lot of your games would, would probably uh, you know like. Um, so yeah, so this is the uh, Tifa Lockhart uh, from Final Fantasy. Okay, the next item is a. Uh, from Zeta Gundam, the uh, Kebley, uh Mark One, and so uh, now this is really kind of cool because it's a nice, nice little small thing with a little pedestal and that kind of stuff. Uh, now the neat thing about this one is it's actually a pencil sharpener. So back in the day, you know, you know, it was you know, you wanted to be the cool kid who had the you know, the Gundam pencil case with all the extra little you know side holders and pockets where you press a button and something pops up or whatever, or you had the you know. You know the, all these things, accessories inside your, you know, um, you know, pencil case. So this one is a a little sort of uh, you know a freestanding sort of uh, you know plastic kit with a pencil sharpener in the base, so that you can then of course you know if you need a pencil sharpener you just pull that thing off of your thing and then sharpen it at the bottom and there we go right. So these are part of these you know cool you know you know little trinket things that you you have you know for you know school or when you're next because that because that really in essence makes you the, you know the cool kid. Okay, so the next thing we got here is the um, Armitage the Third. Okay, and uh, this is the, the uh, you know Polymatrix version, so the second OVA, and uh, this figure of uh, Naomi. All right, now this is going to be because you know, this is a part of the um, um, you know Todd McFarlane series of toys uh, that they came out, and this is for uh, again the, you know, based off the. Um, Pioneer to title the Armitage, right? So this is the you know, the newer animation, 
uh, uh, the poly matrix, which is the second uh, feature that they made for that one. So anyway, so this is so this is a nice little figure. It's a nice kind of sort of you know, sort of plasticated sort of sort of thing. Um, it came out around two thousand, yeah, two thousands, I think, uh, when the when the second wave came out. And uh, so yeah, so again, this is already uh, pre-painted and pre-done up for you, so you don't have to do anything. It's lightly posable. And um, you know, comes with the stand and everything, so you just basically take it up and you and you prop it up on the thing, and, and it's you know more or less ready to go. So you know, uh, this more or less uh, you know, pretty uh, you know pretty no brainer. It's <laughs> you know it's pretty uh, uh, you know, self explanatory and pretty much uh, you know quick display type of item. So again, if you're interested, you know, if you're interested in, in uh, uh, Armitage and that stuff, yeah, definitely this is available to you. All right. So again, uh, write that on your list, uh, on your wish list if you like. Next on my list is I have a series of uh, these um, Oricon CDs, okay? And so these are basically, um, Oricon is basically the uh, the equivalent of Rolling Stone magazine in Japan. It basically keeps track of all the, the music um, stuff and it has a, uh, a weekly, you know, countdown, you know, top 100, if you will, and it just goes down. So basically these CDs, these CDs sort of um, <clears throat> capture the... Uh, you know this particular year and you know this particular time period right and, and so the first one is you know usually the january session and you know, these are the sort of your top hits or your, your most notable hits in that and in, in that bracket so okay so what i'm gonna go through is i'll go through a couple of these different um uh you know titles on these items on these cds and it's you know if there's anything that you, uh, one of these or even multiple of these that you're interested in uh, just you know again write it on your wish list and uh, then we'll go, you know, put that on there for you, okay? Okay, so the first one I'll deal with is this one right here. This is uh, the Oricon uh, Hits number uh, for 1997, uh, Volume 6, okay? And uh, so, you know, some of the big names on here is, of course, um, there's a Field of View. There is a, um, there's a song, uh, Forever Love, by um, uh, At At uh, Arisa. Um, there's oh, one of my favorites here, Glass from uh, Ruchi Karamura, uh, Karamura, which is the uh, you know the guy from uh, Luna C. Um, it has uh, Hana uh, from Toshi, which is the guy from X Japan, uh, and it also has you know Lindbergh on here. It has Kicks, there's Tulip, Yellow Monkey, Shara and Q. Um, you know, it's all various hits on this particular on here. The next one is uh, Oricon 1997, uh, Volume 2. So this one uh, uh, for more, more from 97. Here we have uh, Don't You See, which is the uh, Dragon Ball GT song from Zard. Uh, it has uh, Yes, Free Flower from uh, My Little Lover. Um, it has uh, let's see, it has songs from uh, Jaywalk. Uh, Hayuki uh, it has a hi ho from Hide now from J from X Japan. Um, it also has uh, you are the one by by you know T uh, TK presents. Okay, so yeah, lots of good stuff on this particular one here. Yeah. Next one is uh, 1995 Oricon Best 100, uh, and uh, this lists uh, the the, uh, the first 15, uh, Volume One. Okay. Uh, and we have um, Wow War Tonight from the uh, the Downtown Guys. Uh, Twenty of Nose by Mr. Children. It has Hello Again by Mr. Uh, by My Little Lover. Um, it has uh, Love Phantom by Bees. Very good song there. That's the uh, that's the uh, X Files um, um, uh, uh, background song there, image song. Uh, Crazy Gonna Crazy from TRF. Uh, Love Me, Love You by Bees again, Masquerade by TRF, uh, Knocking on Your Door by uh, Left to Right, so that's a nice one there. Uh, let's see, what is this one? This is 1998, uh, or Oracle Hits Volume 2, and this one here. It has My Baby Grand from Zard, uh, White Silent Night uh, by Shazna. Um, it is, uh, quite there, I, um, by Dean, that's the, um, 
the, the, the theme song from uh, Tales of Destiny, the game. Uh, I from F Blood. Um, uh, Au Revoir by uh, Ma uh, Malice Miser. Uh, Love is Real from Deeps. Okay, so a lot of really good ones on that one there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this one is the uh, 1998 Volume 1. So the, the, the the follow-up for the, for the previous one there has uh, Private Eyes from uh, My Little Lover, uh, Blue Heaven from Southern All Stars. Um, it has uh, Living Daylight by Two Mix, uh, Blue Heaven from like I said, Southern All Stars, uh, and uh, you may know Nakade by uh, you know, what they refer to as the Sunny Day Holiday on this particular one, okay? So, you know, a lot of good... Uh, that one there? This is 1997 Volume 9. So, or kind of Volume 9. It has, uh, let's see, it has Calling from Bees. It has um, Animal Life from My Little Lover. Uh, Burn, Yellow Monkey. Plus it also has uh, you know, songs from The Kinky Kids. Um, uh... uh uh, oh yeah, it has uh, Lucifer from the uh, God of um, Luna Sea. Uh, and Pamela so is on, on this album as well. Uh, Ikitokumi, okay? So on there. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? 1997 Oricon Volume 7. Uh, let's see, it says uh, Matsu uh, Takako from I Stand Alone. It has uh, Wild Sensation from um, Southern All Stars, Seasons of Change, Sing Like Talking. Yeah. Uh, it has you know, songs from Glay, um, Original Love. Okay, so that, that's one. Seven. And then the last one I got here is 1996. Okay. Uh, volume 1. Uh, it has. Um, oh, it has a uh, the famous song from um, uh, "Missing You" from uh, Seiko Masuda. Um, a very popular song there. It has "Alone" by uh, Mio Okamoto. Uh, now and then, my little lover. Hmm. Okay, so that's good. So for that's uh, for 1996. Okay, so again, if you're interested in any one or multiple of these ones, uh, again, put that on your wish list. And uh, when I get the instructions on how to, um, you know, to get, do, do the shipping and that kind of stuff, uh, then you can uh, post your list of things that you like on the comment below. Okay. So until then, start writing up your uh, your list, and I'll get another, we'll catch you on the next episode where I'll uh, you know put out some more things and some books and that kind of stuff uh, that you may be interested in, and we'll add that to the list of things on your wish list. All right. So good luck. Until next time, I will. See you again.